see if you could do it. I did discuss with her, you know, we can't really commit beyond one budget year, uh, but we would uh, entertain it and uh, discuss it at this meeting, and hopefully maybe at the next meeting we can decide on it. It's something you probably need to think about, look into. <coughs> she did tell me uh, that uh, Logan Boone had already made their commitment. Uh, I asked her if she was trying to put pressure on me, and she assured me she wasn't. But, uh, but in Southern, you know, I've always supported Southern and, continue, and will continue to. I think they've uh, really done a great service for Southern part of West Virginia and uh, under uh, President Tomlin. She, she's done a super job of communicating, working with people, and she's so well liked and respected. And, uh, hopefully that this commission, commission can see itself helping in some ways. Take it under advisement and uh, see what we can do maybe at the next meeting. I do have a book of here if anybody wants to hear more detail. And the sheriff came to me and said he would wish that we would uh, choose the same date as town of West Hamlin. That so for police patrol that he could have it all at the same time. I entertain a motion established on October the 30th for trick or treat countywide. So moved. Second. Motion second. Oh yes, motion carries. You can treat where you want to. That's just official designation. <laughs> treat twice if you want. Next thing under old business is we need a motion to accept the recommendation of the hiring committee for the assistant to Rick McDowell and approve the employment of Craig Manns, effective September 27, 2010, at a rate of pay of $15 per hour. Um, second. Motion and second. Being all yes, motion carries. Okay, Rick. Welcome aboard, Craig. It's been working for two weeks, okay. <laughs> you know the flex e grant that we got last year we're all done with that there's a copy of the final report um, we ended up not spending five hundred and sixty eight dollars and thirty five cents but we gave it back so everybody should be okay we've got a meeting this Tuesday the 12th from 5:30 to 7:30 at the community center to sort of talk about how to move the recommendations from the Plexi grant about camp late fees forward. So, what you've got is a financial statement, and then on the next page there are all the expenses, and then the last thing that's paper clipped to that is the um, strategic document that we came up with. And you'll notice there's some gaps in it. So one of the hopes is as we have these community meetings, we can find people who will say, okay. I'd be willing to, whatever, help us with some of these things, um, with the idea that most of them will be short-term, multi-year commitments. And <clears throat> as we go through this and we come up with some specific kind of things, I'll bring them to the commission to let you know what, what we're doing on this. The next thing we've got, the next paper clip is the um, 
County Health Summit that's slated for Tuesday, October the 26th. We're going to have it at the community center. 5.30 to 7.30, we're going to start with a um, healthy meal that will come out of the WVU Extension Dining and Diabetes Cookbook. And we'll give people copies of whatever we serve them, as, as well as the food, which you've got there. That first page is a little flyer that we've sent out to churches in Lincoln County. Um, and then the second is just sort of an informational thing that goes with it. And, uh, we had a couple meetings at the health department. And the folks who came to those meetings, for the most part, felt that it made the best sense at this time to sort of try to get the church mem the church organizations sort of to be the initial group that we did this with to see what happened. I think in part because the health department already had a network through the church people through the emergency preparedness. So we'll see what happens on the 26th, and hopefully we'll have groups that will go back and then set a goal that they would like to achieve, uh, six month, year long goal. And then the thought is that we work with them to try to help them meet meet that, and then after that time period was done, we come back again. People want to do another one. Uh, the next thing that's there is an update on the current project, the ARRA Green Project. Um, currently, we've got 19 homes that have been approved, and 14 of the 19 are completed. We've got five yet to put in. Uh, I don't think we're going to have any problem getting that done. We do have that 20th home, so we're hoping to use the contingency money that's left in the grant. Uh, we've got a couple logistical things about that home that we're trying to work out. My thought is that for some reason we couldn't do that home with this money we move it to the next project and we move something around just so we, could, we don't want to give any of this money back for sure and this would be thirty-seven thousand, which is a lot more than five hundred and the second page is the uh, jobs report we've got to do a, a monthly jobs report so you'll see the cumulative since we started in february it's over eighty-eight thousand dollars that's the money that has been paid out to folks it doesn't include the match from the employer, which we raised a little more, but at this point, that's all the revenue. So that's that grant. And the next thing is the new grant that we're working on, and maybe Craig can come up if you've got some questions. We've employed, we've employed Craig to help with that, with the idea that he's working this 20 hours now. Part of it is on the new grant, and part of it is doing some work uh, to get more grant money. And when I get done, I'm going to leave him standing up here by himself, and he'll talk about some new grant stuff. Uh, anyhow, um, you approved in this the uh, the paper clip thing talks about the procedure we went through. The other people applied. It was an unanimous decision to hire Craig. All those references were glowing. Uh, he started work. He's doing fine. So I think we made a, made a good decision. Uh, what we're doing to move this project forward at this point, initially we were talking about 20 homes. That's the, but the tentative budget that we sent to the DEP. Um, Craig and I went and met with them on the 29th. They were especially friendly to us, which was great.